Bonjour everyone, welcome back to the Magby Channel TV and this is going to be the last video about England and the international break, thank God for that as we touch on club football again returns this coming weekend, Newcastle week at Fulham and everyone else has some big games actually, you've got the North London derby, the Manchester derby but before all that we've got the old foes derby, if that's even a thing, it's England v Germany at Wembley tonight and it's Southgate again, it's Snoozegate again, it's Fraudgate again now, England could go on to win 10-0 tonight, and I still wouldn't care about this video changing my opinion. You couldn't change my opinion on Southgate now. I've seen it for years. Yes, semi-finals of a World Cup, best in a long time. Yes, finals of the Euros, best in a very, very long time. But ultimately, didn't matter. Got nothing out of it. Waste of time. Got me hopes up and out. Pointless, wasn't it? I mean, it, ooh, it, I enjoyed the journey. Didn't enjoy the car crash at the end of it. Pointless, yeah, bottled it. Massively, massively bottled the, the Euros final, especially, well, and the World Cup, to be fair. One and up, thanks, thanks to Kieran Trippier and uh, against the age and creation side, and we still bottled that. I mean, we would have got beaten the final of France, like so. But the point being is that we'll bottle it on the big stage and we'll bottle it on the biggest stage of all again this winter in Qatar. For the World Cup, for me, I think it'll be a quarter final exit at best. I think we'll get found out this summer. We're getting found out right now. I mean, with Southgate, we haven't scored in, was it 400 odd minutes? Like, quite a few games. We haven't won, is it five games? I, I had the tweet the other day, it's been a couple of days, I'm trying to forget about it. Basically, we haven't won in a few matches, we haven't scored in a few matches, we look shit in a lot of matches. It's, it's done, it's gone. Do you mean, Southgate was always going to have credit in the bank for those two past tournaments, the finishes that we had, but it's game over now, like, well, they're not going to sack him just a couple of months before the World Cup, they're not going to do that. This has got to be the bow. This has got to be, this has got to be a take the waistcoat off. Actually, he's not, he hang the waistcoat up, but he's not, he's not even wearing the waistcoat anymore. Maybe he needs to put the waistcoat back on. That must have been a magic waistcoat. What was that film back in the day where the kid would wear the boots and he would turn into the best football in the world? Southgate puts the waistcoat on, magic powers. Get your waistcoat back out, Gareth, because at the minute, it's hopeless. It's absolutely hopeless. I can't believe how bad it is watching England. It's so boring. With this current crop of players, with the attacking players that we have, the array of quality we've got in that squad, we should be doing so much better. But at the minute, we can't even score a goal. We're so boring to watch, we're so pragmatic, we're so negative. And it'll be the same in the World Cup. We'll probably beat Iran 1 0 in the last minute, thanks to a penalty in the opening game. You know what I mean? We should be battering teams out, we should be scoring, we should be winning, we should be playing attractive football. So that's why this video is talking about Southgate, it's time to go. So Southgate, I think, will go after this World Cup, you can see it's probably getting to him a little bit in the press conferences, you know, getting booed off all the time and stuff, he said tonight just back the players, don't make it about me, I think that's getting him a bit, I think the FA sense that the time has come to change things up, to get a new man in, so Southgate will go, even if he, I think even if he won the World Cup, he would go, because you'd be like, right, well this is the, this is the pinnacle, it's not, not going to get any better, and this is it, it'll just be a downfall, this is as good as it's going to get, so I'm off, which you can kind of understand, but he's not going to win the World Cup, is he? No chance, absolutely no chance. So you'll go there. I don't think we'll do that well this winter at all at the World Cup. I really don't. Um, but we'll get into all that later. The close at the time. This video is about Southgate. Time to go. New England manager. Now, Eddie Howe. Eddie Howe is the favourite to replace Gareth Southgate. He is the current favourite to replace Southgate as England's next manager. Graham Potter was right up there, but obviously he's took the Chelsea job now. You can't see that happening. He wouldn't leave Chelsea straight away when he's got Champions League football and that there. So they're targeting Eddie Howe, they're targeting a young English progressive manager, which is good to hear, great to hear. That's what we want to hear, but we don't as a Newcastle fan. I'd be devastated to see Eddie Howe go. But England need to change though. The next manager needs to be a modern manager. Eddie Howe, how he plays the press, he plays attacking football, likes to have the ball. You want to play attacking football, go for wins, not just sit back. Southgate's all about defence, isn't it? And win 1-0, pragmatic, shite. Boring, snooze fest, don't want it. So England are looking to change that, a more bolder, attacking, confident manager. Get the best out of these attacking flair players. And Eddie Howe fits the bill. Completely fits the criteria. Now after Bournemouth, he's came to Newcastle, done exceptionally well. I don't think Eddie Howe would take the job. I think if Eddie Howe was approached, I don't think he would take it. Maybe I'm saying this with a Newcastle hat on because let's be honest, he is from the south, he is from Bournemouth. They do, they obviously are a lot closer to England down there. You, you see, I remember when I moved to Southampton, a lot of their, the Southampton lads, they proper love England, like follow them home and away, really, really get stuck into it. Whereas we, 
you see a lot of comments on our videos, even Instagram and stuff, I don't care about England, I don't care about England. It, no, there seems to be the further up north you get, the less you care about it. Not that we care about Scotland or anything, I think we just care about club football a bit more. And probably because we've been, you know, um, kind of ignored for a while, especially you, we've seen a lot of times in the past, Newcastle players not getting called up when they probably should have. You think of Shelby 2018, even Lascelles then, even now, Dan Byrne maybe, Matty Target maybe. You've got Luke Shorter playing, he doesn't even play for Man United anymore. You know what I mean? So the, it's always the same old favourites getting picked from Southgate, the same old players. Maguire hasn't kicked a ball all season and then he's playing for, for England. You know, there's, there's loads going on there that you could talk about that everyone is kicking a fuss up about. Southgate picking his pals and whatnot. Formation's wrong, state of play is wrong. But what I'm saying is, Eddie Howe, I don't think he would leave Newcastle because he is at the most exciting project in world football. He knows he's loved here, he's adored here, he's really getting into the Geordie spirit of things, the philosophy of the town, the club, the people he meets, you know, he says he's absolutely loving life here, settling in here, and things are looking good, so things are looking on the up. So I don't think he would come to uh, to England if they're called. Now, that is hard to say because who knows if, if it did come up, because let's be honest, it's one of the biggest jobs in, in world football. He could look at that squad and think, I could win something with them, not easy. So that may change his mind. But I just think at the minute, I think he'd be happy here, he'd be settled here, and he wouldn't want to risk it. And I think Eddie Howe would be, would be thinking to himself, look, if I stay at Newcastle for the next couple of years at least, continue building, continue doing a good job, the opportunities are only going to get better. England aren't going to go away, but there, there again, they might appoint someone for a few years and be stuck. But I think Eddie Howe, down the line, maybe when he's older, would be looking at the England job. Now, now at his age, he's probably still thinking, I want to be a club level, I want the everyday. We know how much of a workaholic he is. He's there all day and all night. Now, does he does he love that so much that he wants to keep that? Or would he think, I take the engine job, I get to spend more time with my family, I get to spend more time doing this, living life, enjoying myself, not stressed out all the time. Who knows? I mean, only he could really answer that. But for, for, what, for what I think from looking in, I think he would stay at Newcastle. I think he'd turn England down. I think he wants the club life. He loves Newcastle. He can see where he's going, the trajectory of the club, the ideas behind it, the ownership. I don't think he would leave. So where does that leave England? Now, else on the list is Pochettino, who's out of work. That could work, but I'm, I'm thinking again, would Pochettino, does he prefer the club, the club life? I mean, normally with international managers, they're a bit older, aren't they? Whereas, apart from Southgate, <laughs> because any club would have him. This is the thing with Southgate, he wouldn't get a Premier League job. So he's at England. You can understand why you're normally older when you're taking an international job, because your kids are growing up, your wife's there, she's whinging that you've been ignoring her for 20 years at club level at the training ground every day. So for me, I think it would be an older person to take the England job. Um, I, couldn't see, I couldn't see Pochettino taking it, especially since it's not his native country. Maybe it was the Argentinian job he would. Or, you know, they used to do this thing where they used to, managers could balance club and international uh, challenges, you know, have a job at a, at a team and a job at a country, but you never see that anymore. Could that be something they could do? I, I doubt it. Like, it doesn't really work in the modern day because of all the games, does it? That they play at domestic levels with the cups and everything. So, all the man that's linked with the job, who's been out of a job for a while, is Arsene Wenger. Wenger out. Wenger. Linked with the role. Who's high up in the FA, isn't he now? Not the FA, the uh, FIFA and stuff with all these mad ideas for the future. So, <sighs> Wenger in England? It might work, you know. I wouldn't be that against that in a way, but... Been out of it for a few years now, hasn't he? And mm, I don't know, like, I don't think it's that ideal. And you've got, like, some Mourinho, who's been linked with it for so long, who I would have loved to have seen years ago, but I don't think that would really work now either. Jose Mourinho, well, to be fair, I wouldn't be that against Mourinho either. But also, he can't, he doesn't play the prettiest of football now, does he? So that might not be the right thing, but it'd be entertaining at least. Unlike Southgate, it would never be boring having Jose Mourinho as being the manager, especially. Imagine him at the World Cup causing scenes and stuff. And then, you know, you look down the list and there's, what on earth is this list when it's lifting? That list is pretty bad, like, so there's not many options out there. I think Thomas Tuchel on that list maybe could work at German in charge of England. I don't know. The list doesn't look that great, to be honest with you. There's not an abundant, there's not a man on that list that stands and you think, yeah, pick him. So, but I would, I would take the majority of them, apart from Mike Lone, he's down there at the bottom. What the hell? I'd take most of them. Um, Wayne Rooney, Lampard, Gerrard, they're in managerial jobs now. None of them have done that well though, really. So I don't know, the list isn't looking too pretty, but it's prettier than Southgate, because that football is some of the worst I've ever seen in my life. As long as Steve Bruce doesn't get the job, because then that's just the same as Southgate. Southgate's just a young Bruce, Gareth Bruce. We'll see, we'll see. 
England, there's lots of work to be done. The World Cup's still coming up. They play Germany tonight. They've been relegated from the Europa, the Europa League, Conference League, whatever crap league it is. Conference, no, the Conference League is the Nations League. Just put something, just put a daft word in front of the league and that's what it is. We're shite. See you later. Can't be arsed. Now, drop your thoughts below who you would like to see as England manager after Gareth Southgate. Or would you keep Southgate? Are oh, you insane? Subscribe to the Mike channel TV. Enjoy yourself.